Let's now we'll try to install Apache Tomcat. So to do that, I am into Google and inside Google, I am typing Apache Tomcat download. Go to this particular site, which is tomcat.apache.org. So in here, like you'll be having all the versions that you want to install. Uh, so in here, I, I will be installing Tomcat 8 onto the system. So 8 is compatible, uh, Tomcat 7 and 8 both are compatible with uh, Java 1.8. So I'm choosing Tomcat 8. So I just clicked on Tomcat 8 and then here, um, so Tomcat 8 software download. So I'm choosing my, um, uh, choosing 32-64-bit uh, Windows service installer. So I clicked on this and the, uh, uh, file has been downloaded onto the system. Okay. So now you can see that Apache Tomcat 8 is downloaded. So I'm going to my downloads. So this is where it is downloaded. So as I double click on it. So now it is asking me like, uh, do you want to install this? So I want to install this. So I clicked on S. Now I'm going to next. And then, uh, so it is uh, showing me the agreement details. So I need to say, I agree to install it. So then uh, uh, it's asking me to select the type of installation or to download the full version of Tomcat. You just need to click on full over here or check all the check boxes over here. Click on next and then choose a shutdown server port number. So the default uh, connecting, connector port is 8080. Other than this, you can choose any of the port number. So I'm choosing 8005 as the server shutdown port. Okay. And then I need to give the username and password. So I'm giving username to be admin and the password to be password. Okay. So then... Okay, so now I'm clicking on the next. Here, as I already told you, for Tomcat, you require Java. So here, since I already uh, installed Java before installing Tomcat, it is taking the path where Java is and it is compatible, okay? Uh, so please select the path of Java 7 or the later JRE installed on your system. So it supports uh, Tomcat 8, supports Java 7 and above, okay? So since I have installed JDK 8, so it is taking it if the if java if it is not showing the path where java is installed so you can click on these three dots over here and select the path where java is installed so by default it is taking the java folder so i'm clicking on next over here and then it is showing me the destination folder of the tomcat so it is in c drive program files and all that so it is okay to me or else you can change the destination folder so i'm keeping it as it is and click on install now tomcat will install on your system so it is sure telling me that uh, it has installed tomcat and then it is uh, telling run apache tomcat and show readme so i need to uncheck both the check boxes or else straight away it will start running so i don't want it to run as of now so i am unchecking all these two check boxes and then click on finish so now tomcat is installed on your system so i need to set the environment variables so go to the environment variables so env and then uh, go to this edit the system environment uh, variables go to the environment variables okay so now i'm keeping it aside uh, now what i'll do is i'll go to the path where uh, this particular tomcat is installed it is on the pc uh, so c drive then program files and then you have this apache software foundation so inside this you have tomcat 8.1 installed and it is uh, showing me you, you don't have permission. So I just need to click on continue. So now uh, I need to go into the bin. Okay. So this is actually the path. Okay. So this is the path. Just copy this path, control C. And now come to the environment variable setup. And then uh, so you just need to add one new system variable. So click on new. Okay. So now the variable name is Catalina. Okay, so I'm the variable name is Catalina. And then the variable value is the uh, 
bin till the path till the bin folder okay so i need to take off the this particular bin and the backslash and i need to keep it only till tomcat 8.5 folder okay so click on okay and you can see that the new environment system variable which is catalina is added onto your system variables not only that you just need to go to the path over here go to edit here i'll say new and then i'll uh, add the path till the bin folder so now the environment uh, variable have been added and click on okay and okay on the system properties okay okay here and then okay on the system properties now the environment variables have been set up for your tomcat okay friends let me show you how to start the tomcat server for that let me go to the command prompt so this is the command prompt inside the command prompt i need to copy the path okay so this is the path till the bin folder right so i just need to copy the path and click on okay so now i am in the bin folder so now i just need to type the command which is called as start up okay so as i click on start up you can see that tomcat application server has started up and it is asking me to um, uh, my firefox is blocking it so it is asking me to allow the access so i just need to click on allow access and the tomcat server has started up for you and now let me go to the browser okay, to check whether uh, tomcat is running or not i'm going to the browser so inside the browser i am typing local host colon 8080 and click on enter so i got this tomcat web page and go to this particular server status give the username and password that we already have given so i have given username to be admin and the password i have given as password itself so sign in so as i do like you can see the status of uh, server status over here all my system details everything okay so the jvm that is um, uh, installed on my system okay before running our application let me show you the applications that are there with the tomcat so go to this particular list applications so inside this you have this examples here application examples so go to these applications and then there are examples of servlet examples um so let me actually execute this hello world program so click on execute as you click on execute you can see that the server executed this hello world application for us okay so this is uh, how you check whether tomcat is successfully installed or not okay so now that tomcat is successfully installed now i'll uh, create my own application and show you how to run that particular application on the application server using apache tomcat